You know, we hear a lot about developers coming to Tulsa trying to develop places like Turkey Mountain and Helmrick Park. But what about the dozens of existing retail spaces sitting empty, many for several years? Brian Miller went looking for what role the city is playing in filling those empty retail spaces. Brian? Yeah, I'm here right next to Trader Joe's on South Peoria, where several sites still sit empty. Now, I put in an open records request to find out how many of these empty resale shops are in the city of Tulsa. I came to find out the city doesn't track them. Available. It's a word you can't miss all over, from midtown to downtown. Lots for sale or retail spaces sitting empty. How do we pick which one? You know, we're going to go market. Clay Bird heads the mayor's office of economic Never development. Go. I don't think any of us like driving by and seeing, you know, some vacant big box store. But, you know, that there, there's been a shift now. I mean, got a lot more online shopping, a lot less storefronts. He says tracking empty storefronts is better left to the private sector. It is very difficult to track, to keep up with that. Uh, and, you know, that's not... In a lot of cases, what are we going to do? Tulsa is probably not booming. For instance, I just got back from Denver. Denver is booming. Realtor Denver Doug Bauer tracks the market. Tulsa Hills, of course, now downtown, Cherry Street, Brookside. Those are the popular areas. According to the county assessor's office, the number of new retail spaces in Tulsa County is on the rise from a six-year low of 34 in 2011 to 95 last year. There's still demand. I mean, every day we get calls for some kind of space and we try to match people and property. From the city's standpoint, it's a balance between filling existing spaces and bringing in new retailers. Mainly we're looking for new to market uh, and really destination retail. And Bird says his, does, his office does help to recruit businesses here, but the main role that they do that is the Chamber of Commerce. They have a partnership with them. Reporting live in Tulsa, Brian Miller, Two Works for You. All right.